Hey Schumacher, thanks for coming by. Come on in. So I've been in this space since 2001 and my gosh, it's had so many incarnations, like just like myself. Um, when I first moved in, this entry was done in a, uh, in a Venetian plaster in a beautiful sort of creamy color with a lot of movement. At the moment, it's done in an inky blue and it, it was really inspired by this Hendrik Kirsten's photo. You know, my, my personal aesthetic is really about collections and just buying things that I love and living with them. So let me show you the living room. So the current state of the living room is really just layers of almost a single color. Uh, this monochromatic palette that sort of I've developed um, and I'd love to just punctuate it with like little punches of color like this, this sculpture from Ronaldo Sanguino. Um, one of the things I also love to do is to build collections, you know, for myself and for clients. And so over the years, I've amassed this collection of boxes. I mean, they are literally from every, every part of the world and sort of every aesthetic. Um, these are uh, American, like probably 200 years old. This is Middle Eastern. And I think good interiors should really tell a story. And one of the things that friends often laugh at is, you know, I've got like closets and cabinets full of accessories um, that I change out often. Like, you know, sometimes it's two in the morning, sometimes I'm having friends over for dinner and I'll change the candlesticks. I'll, you know, move all the accessories around. I've got like a whole mercury glass collection here and some other things that I like often switch out. Um, I'm having friends over for dinner or just changing Seasonally, I feel like your home, like your fashion should change with you. And one of the things you'll notice in some of the other spaces is that, you know, I always finish the ceilings. I mean, here, the ceiling is actually painted the same color as the room. Um, I feel like a very white ceiling in here would just jump out at you and it's not something, this room is really about being a cocoon and um, again, you know, being layers of the same color. Let me show you the kitchen. So believe it or not, for New York City, this is an actually fairly large kitchen. And the cabinetry is actually a shaker stall cabinetry. And in the true style of the shakers, um, it was painted on site. So when I first moved in here, it was a white kitchen because you know everyone wants a white kitchen. Then I had a robin's egg blue moment where this was robin's egg blue and I had some sort of like robin's egg blue going throughout the rest of the space. Um, then there was the gray phase, and now I'm at the, uh, the aubergine phase. And this is done in Faro and Ball Pelt. And it's also to sort of it contradict the very simple shaker style is done in a really contemporary manner where it's done in a high gloss. Let me show you my multi-purpose study. So this is a room, um, especially right now, I use mostly for working at home and working after hours. I set up a little, my computer here, and it's really just a perfect, again, you know, like cocoonish place to work. Lighting is one of, or if not the most important element in design and decor. Um, and what you'll notice throughout the space is that there's lighting at many, many different levels. And what I mean by that is there's table lighting, there's task lighting, there's overhead lighting, um, there's art lighting and all those lights really just create a space um, that becomes warm and inviting and it also allows you to really adapt your room to your situation and one of the things i'm completely 100 percent adamant about are dimmers um, i think whether you're in a rental or you're you know long-term owner owner basically dimmers will change your life let's go check out the bedroom and the bathroom Uh, so the bathroom was really designed around classical elements and uh, really sort of timeless. So the walls and the ceiling are done uh, in the same wall covering. And I did that again, you know, to create this very cocoonish effect. I, I'm personally a huge art advocate and I would hang art just about anywhere that I, that I possibly could. And so you notice it, whether it's in the kitchen or it's in the bathroom, it, there is art. 
Um, one of the, you know, the fallacies that I think needs to be uh, abolished really is that if you have a small space, you need to have small furniture or you have to have small art. Uh, it's actually quite the opposite. When you have a small space, larger pieces don't make it look like a dollhouse and larger pieces of art actually make the space appear to be larger. Let me show you the bedroom. So, I mean, living in New York City can be quite noisy and um, I actually live on Lexington Avenue, these windows face Lexington Avenue. So one of the things I did to really control the noise and absorb the noise is um, I upholstered the walls in a Schumacher cotton velvet. The, uh, the Schumacher velvet really brings warmth to the space and just incredible sound absorption. Like the other spaces uh, throughout my apartment, you'll notice that there's more art. Um, again, you know, art and accessories really make a house a home and I'm a firm believer in that. I'm a firm believer in buying things that you love and making them work. Hey everyone, thanks for coming on my home tour. See you next time.